Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 27th of 2019. Well, it is titled the annotated galactic center. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the region towards our galactic center. And we see a number of different types of objects here and labeled off to the right hand side, we can see the center of our galaxy. Now, as you may note, it doesn't look like anything spectacular. And what it really should look like is the brightest object in the sky. And that is be and that is because that is where the highest concentration of stars exists. However, it is not so because there is so much dust between us in the galactic center. So in visible light, we can't see it. However, if you point a radio telescope there, it is the brightest object in the sky, the brightest thing that can be seen, and was the first radio object to be detected uh, by Carl Jansky back in the 1930s. Now we see a number of other objects here as well. We do see some uh, open clusters of stars so some star clusters and those are open star clusters star clusters that are not gravitationally bound together and are relatively young associated with recent star formation formation we also see a star cloud here labeled m24 which is an even larger concentration of stars and a big star cloud associated with a lot of the great star clouds within our milky way and in fact when you look the milky portions up above and down below this central darker band which is really just caused by dust blocking out material are really the combined light from millions and millions of stars so if you could look at that in even more detail you would see that those are just all just stars that we are looking at so not actually a milky band or a nebula as some of the others that we look at but actually just composed of the combined light of many many stars and the star cloud is just kind of a smaller version of what we see for the rest of the Milky Way now we do see as I said we have some dusty areas lining the center there we also have what are classified as some dark nebulae dark areas that labeled as Barnard 78 and Barnard 312 so those are two dark nebulae here that we can see which again are concentrations of dust that are blocking out the material from behind it so the fact that the central region is darker and that these dark nebulous regions are darker than the rest means simply that there is more dusty material blocking out the light from behind not that there is a lack of material here now we can also see a whole number of nebulae here uh, different types of emission and reflection nebulae and those are uh, those are labeled as the various various Messier uh, many of the various Messier objects and I highlight them here as we're talking about them and they are a combination of emission nebulae which tend to appear reddish and reflection nebulae that will appear blue emission nebulae are caused by the glow of hydrogen gas reflection nebulae are caused by the reflection of starlight off of dust grains around a star so both of them are associated with star formation and relatively young stars and that's a lot of what we see here we are looking directly into the disk of our galaxy through the biggest part of the disk and therefore seeing a lot of the star formation that is going on and these dense concentration of star clouds as we look towards our galactic center even though the center itself remains essentially invis invisible to someone observing with an optical telescope um, other ways it can be studied and give us much more information about what is going on deep in the center of our galaxy so that was our picture of the day for September the 27th of 2019. It was titled the Annotated Galactic Center. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Analemma of the Sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.